<clears throat> Hello, welcome to Words of Scripture. And uh, today we're going to talk about sinners versus Christians. Are Christian sinners? I was in the church once and uh, the preacher was up there and he was serious. Oh, he was serious. He said, one of the foundations of Christianity is that we're all sinners. And he meant it. Obviously, he hadn't read this part of the Bible. Um, in 1 Peter 4, 18, he says, And if the righteous one, righteous one, that means you're, you're in right standing with God, you are a Christian. Um, it says, And if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Well, you're righteous or you're ungodly or a, and a sinner. You can't be both. Sure, Christians mess up. We, we all do. There was only one perfect person ever, and that's Jesus. We're supposed to try to be like Jesus. Um, but we all mess up, and if we mess up, we fess up. We admit it. We turn from it. We say, Father, I'm sorry. I don't ever want, I, 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 I'm not going to do that again. Please forgive me. And it's gone. He knows your heart. Don't think you can get away with sin. But um, anyway, every, every, everywhere the word sinner is mentioned in the Bible. Here's the definition of the word. It's, it's, uh, the Greek word is uh, number 268, Strong's 268. It says, devoted to sin, a sinner, not free from sin, preeminently sinful, especially wicked. That don't sound like a Christian to me. Now, Christian is defined as a follower of Christ. And Christians are also called, many times in Paul's epistles especially, a saint. And the definition of a saint is most holy thing. Is a sinner a most holy thing? I don't think so. You need to know your Bible. You need to read God's Word. Read this. Sure, we should we should go to church if we can find one that's um, got good enough a preacher that at least halfway knows what he's talking about. But in these days, it's harder and harder and harder to find that. I pray that you will be able to find it. And I also pray that you read this book. So when you hear something come across the pulpit, you can either agree with it or you can say, Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. This book says different. Because your eternity depends on it. More next time. Please uh, like and subscribe. Share. Um, share the link on uh, um, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I do it all. Just to get God's word out. Get the truth out. There's False te teaching is so rampant. Oh, I was discouraged again today. Looking through. Did a Google search. False teachings. And about 90% of them of the results we're talking about false teachers and what they were calling false teachers is those who don't believe in what's saved always say that once you've one time made a commitment to Christ said some words that your future is forever set 100 percent in stone nothing not even God himself can keep you from going to heaven. Nearly every solitary page of this book refutes that. Read this. Don't don't expect don't expect to get the truth off of Google. Don't expect to get the truth off of me. Get your truth here. 
your eternity, as I said, depends on it. Um, new background. Woohoo! <laughs> God bless you. Hope you come back. Hope I haven't chased you off. Hope the truth hasn't chased you off. And again, comment with scriptures to back up if you're refuting me. Two or more witnesses, scripture in context. If what I say is not biblical, again, God bless you, share, like, all that good stuff. See you next time. Bye.